A perfect decarbonized city, in my view, is a city which has sufficient density so that means of public transport can offer an extremely good service which tempts people to use it a lot more. Um, the density will also avoid urban sprawl. Um, the density will create um, a good situation of uh, communities, but what it also does is that we get um, a lot of attention in the city to make sure that we don't have empty inner city areas overnight where crime and so on could take place. First of all, integrate local available energy sources that we go into um, geothermal, that we go into little solar parks, that we go into heat and power combinations, that we make sure that we collect whatever energy is available. They need to be um, aware of the fact that they are in a very powerful situation um, to demand things like green building envelope, to demand CO2 neutrality. They can um, have a big influence on how heating is provided. They have a very, very important role to demand the right things and it's very important that we collaborate with them to define what is right and wrong in which situation. Everybody can contribute and it's very important that we make that message clear. With our pocket habitat, um, little sort of um, green roof bags, we want to set an example that everybody can just act. We need to make sure that by default we bring as much green into cities as possible because it's green infrastructure, not decoration. It should be nice as well, but it's not the purpose of being decorative. It's got the purpose of being green infrastructure. I think decarbonizing cities is not something that just comes for free. We have to make efforts, we have to change our behavior, we have to understand where the constraints are and we need to make sure that we do it with the conscience for our future generations. Mm -hmm.